when a couple with infertility issues wants to build their family, it can be tough to decide the path that's right for them. There's one option that many people don't think of, even though it's been around for decades. In today's Your Family Now, we meet Waterloo couple Travis and Annette Wells and hear their journey with embryo adoption. You'll often find the Wells family outside their Waterloo home. With kids ages 11, 7, and twin 3-year-olds, they need to get the wiggles out. These kids are loved and cared for, and they're ours. But what you wouldn't know by watching them play Good job, is the unique way the Wells family came to be. My husband and I knew long before we were married that adoption was going to be the way that we grew our family. Because of an infertility issue, they adopted Cornelius from Guatemala as a baby. They planned to adopt more children this way. And then Guatemala closed their adoptions, and so we were looking for another option. They chose the Snowflakes Embryo Adoption Program. Here's how it works. A family that has a child through in vitro fertilization may have frozen embryos that are never implanted. There are at least 600,000 of these in the U.S. And they really have three choices with those embryos. They can um, leave them frozen indefinitely. They can donate them for science and or they can um, give them up for adoption. Annette received hormone treatments and then was able to carry three of her children, Corbin and years later twins Katie and Cora. And then I got to enjoy all of the wonderful parts of being pregnant, uh, the good, bad and the ugly. Many people also see embryo adoption as a good fit for religious reasons. The Wells family believes life begins at conception. You are giving a life a chance to grow and to mature and to see to see what the potential is in these little frozen embryos. And it's just been a, a true blessing to our whole family. A loving family bonded by something much more powerful than DNA. Well, we don't have a lot of money in the bank, but we do have a lot of love in our house. And that's more important to us than anything.